Uh, what we're going to do in this video is to create a new work order for an estimate as we have a new client. So what we're going to do is the new clients just phoned up just for argument's sake. You've got a client suppliers work estimates which is what we want. It's, it's easy to do this way. As you see the estimate or the work order opens with last entered work order. So what we do need to do is we look on a new blank record. So we go there. Now, as we know, the person's just told us they've never employed us before, so we, we had a new person there. So we're going to do Mr. and Mrs. and Mrs. or oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. of one two three any address uh, let's have oh margate yes uh, as obviously kent now postcode if you don't need this postcode right it will give you an advisory note like this so if i add one two three four and click like that you'll see it's kind of please reformat your postcode uh, this may be incorrect. If you don't want to reform it, just go say no and it will leave it. But we want to reform it. So C D three space and four W. Now it recognises that as a proper postcode. And obviously email address, website if you've got one, you can have you can have whatever details you want. Obviously the contact number is important, so we got do a uh, Pam. Uh, her number is that's Mrs. Pam Tester, obviously. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The number can be, you know, it can be mobile, it can be anything you go in the contact details. You go the name, you go should add name of Pam and mobile or home, whatever, and just click close. And you notice once you click close, it's updated the actual work order with the actual details of Mr. and Mrs. Tester. Now as you see, the customer is actually going to be the site as well. This isn't always the case, but most of the time it is, especially for smaller businesses. So we, we just want to copy the details across and we want to go to, uh, Pam is going to be the one in the actual uh, home. So we do Pam there. And just easiest way to get the number across just copy it. Obviously, I've done this because the number could be any, it could be anyone, it could be their daughter, son, daughter, whoever. They may just be staying there, so whatever. Uh, obviously, the call type is the estimate, and we're going to do a new. Oh, let's do it. Let's do a house wire as I'll carry on with this uh, new work all, all the way through with other videos, and we're doing the estimate to start with. Now we've got this intimate. They, they said that they found us on the internet, so that's good. They don't obviously don't have a PA order. As it hasn't got a charge, because it's an estimate, we put no charge there. It's active. Now what we need to do is we need to create a, a slot for a engineer to go around and have a look at the property and evaluate the job. So what we do there is bring up the diary and click on here and they want us to we can actually if i just show you we go, we go different days move movies you see steve jobs is normally the one who does all the estimates so i'm going to try and book them so I'm gonna, let's just say we've actually arranged to for him to actually go around there on the 26th because i'd like to keep we'd be like to keep him on a particular day blah 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 so that's wednesday 26 so all we need to do is you can see these details have been added here Work order number 20, and you can add, you can actually, actually edit the this bit here and work order related. I'll cover the actual diary in more details later. But we've agreed with Mr. and Mrs. Tester that Steve will turn up uh, about 11 o'clock, so we book him there for 11. But I always let, allow two hours. So you see now Steve's got Steve's got basically three jobs there, so I know I've booked him for three hours, so he's got the afternoon books. 
popped up. Now all we need to do is close that and you'll see that the details are updated. Wednesday 26th of June 2019, 11 o'clock. So you can see, uh, that's basically all you, all you have to do for that. Uh, obviously you can add, add, add comments. The comments are actually stored internally. They aren't printed on any external paperwork. The site instructions are to Steve for this particular, you know, uh, carry out. Blah blah blah. Now you can actually print a docket for him on the on the day whenever you select the book docket. I've only added one at the moment because obviously the system is still under design. Click there because you actually only want to print the current work order and we're going to preview it. Now you can print as many copies of this as you like. Obviously you, you can print as many as you like because Steve might because it's a uh, it's a uh, installation, new installation, rewire. Then it might you might might be an idea to print a couple of copies. But Steve will fill this out. It will either create a uh, list of parts needed, which I'll cover a little bit later in the next video. He might even do a little drawing, you know, a couple of drawings of the actual property to help with estimating where, where the sockets are going to be. Blah blah blah. And that's basically it. So what we need to do next, I'll cover, I'll cover the next bit in the next video.